In today's video, I'm going to share with you all my recent purchases and whether they made it in the hit list or the miss list. I feel like there's definitely more hits than misses and some of them are kind of in that gray area. I was initially thinking about doing a luxury favorites, but I thought this was even better because this is basically me taking all the luxury purchases or most of the luxury purchases, not every single one, but most of the important luxury purchases that I have made in the past years so I counted the ones from my birthday last year up till now. So we have several categories. I'm gonna start with handbags. Of course, my classic small flap in the gray color from last year. This was purchased from the 21A collection. So I purchased it for my birthday last year, exactly a year ago. This is definitely in the hit list. And by the way, this video is all about the hits. Next video, which will be a sequel to this, will be all the misses, but I will still share the ones that kind of are in the hit list, but they are kind of in the gray area and I'll explain why. But obviously the classic flop, my only classic flop in the small size made it in the hit list. It's just one of those things where I've been collecting for a while and I still haven't gotten myself one and finally I got one and in this perfect color. I love this beautiful 21A gray color and it's a nice sort of, it's, it's kind of like a semi shiny caviar and it's absolutely beautiful. The small size is amazing. Um, could I have gotten a medium? Absolutely, I think so. But I think the small is really good for me and not just because of my frame, obviously, not just because of my body shape, but just the fact that I know it doesn't really fit that much more even if you went a size up and I actually would rather it be a bit more petite because it's cuter, it's a little bit more transportable I suppose. Uh, not that it fits much more with the size up anyway so I don't see the value in getting a size up uh, for this particular bag in this particular color. Let's mix it up a little bit. We don't have to do things in order of brands. The next one I wanted to feature is this beautiful Hermes bag and this is the 18 size picotin in the touch, in the alligator touch and it is in black. I have a couple of videos on this bag already. I have a very thorough updated review of this as well if you haven't seen it. I'll try to link it up here if I remember but this bag has absolutely been a dream and it exceeded my expectations and I think for the price slash value factor it is absolutely ranking very high. I can't speak any more highly than I already did about this bag so it's pretty much self-explanatory. I did get this bag towards the latter part of the year last year but I can tell you already that I have used it so much since and um, so much so that I think I use this way 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 more than the classic flop that I just showed you earlier. The classic flop it's one of those things where you need to collect well that's what I was telling myself anyway I wanted one because I wanted one in my collection and I wanted to do it before it was too late but this is absolutely a bag that not only did I really like it but I also thought it was super practical and easy to carry, uh, very carefree because it's in black also and just wonderful. It's just so beautiful, especially in the touch. Another Hermes bag, this one is super recent. So as you can see, it's not really in order of when I purchased it. Mini size Della Cavalleria and it's a beautiful bag. I should do an update review already because I have used this bag enough times that I feel like I can give a pretty good review. Let me know if you're interested. Um, I know it's kind of still new, not everyone's cup of tea for some reason. People tend to be afraid of changes or just don't like to see things that are different. I get that, it's just human nature, but if you really want me to do an updated review even though I've only had it for like two months, I think, <laughs> um, let me know. But um, all in all, this is one of the hits for sure. I feel like as a Hermes bag that is non-quota, that um, is still relatively fresh, a very new style in terms of functionality and uh, ease of use, I really, really appreciate it. I also, of course, really appreciate that craftsmanship. That's 
one of the main factors of me getting into Hermes and um, yeah I, I think in the end you, you've got to love the style obviously if you don't then there's no amount of convincing that will make you change your mind but um, if you are just unsure but you're kind of liking the style from afar and you're just not sure about the functionality I can tell you that it is a great bag so that's my stance on it and um, although very very recent definitely made it in the hit list Ooh, got a little dusty there <laughs> anyway my next hit list item is definitely this little micro bag I've talked about it numerous times I think I I mean if you watch my channel you know already I'm a I'm a very mini bag lady, but not only that, I got into the the micro trend last year and I'm I'm so obsessed about it. I think that having a couple of micro bags in your collection is it's not essential, but it's so fun and it's so amazing. It actually serves as an accessory when you want it to be, and sometimes I wear both. I wear a regular bag and a micro bag at the same time and the micro bag serves more as your um you know your wallet basically your things that you reach in and out very very frequently not only that it just looks uber cute i mean this chain and the fact that it has a little top handle it's just so cute it comes in super handy when you go to places where you want to be hands-free and you're not necessarily needing a lot of things but just in case you might need that ID to buy a drink. Other than that, most of the time you just you're just chilling with friends or you're watching a concert. Like th those types of scenarios, these little micro bags come in very, very handy. I will say, however, it is quite easy to buying too many of these can fall under the category of misses, which is something that I will address in my sequel to this. This is not gonna be a great purchase for everyone i am fully aware of that because it is not only impractical it doesn't fit much it's very expensive and it's in lambskin so it's definitely a not a carefree bag it's one of those things similar to the classic flap but even more novelty if you are a big chanel lover if you're a bag collector if you're a bag lover you just have to have one type of situation so that's how i felt about it and um yeah i've only really worn it once really I, I worn it a couple of times but the the time that I really wore it wore it uh, to a party was really just once and it's so precious so yeah this will this is sort of that forever piece that I know I won't get a ton of wear but it's a very special piece and I know that if I didn't try harder to get my hands on it that I probably wouldn't be able to anyway and yeah, there are some floating in the secondhand market, but it's just not the same when you can't get it at the retail store by yourself and, you know, with the whole store experience. And plus, I got this from my um, last essay, which has left the company. So it was it was a, you know, a lot of a lot of um, story time and just a lot of sentimental value attached to it. I will say that these definitely made it in the hit list. Did I really need them? Not so much, but you know, sometimes it's not about needing them that you want to buy things. It's just because you want it. So um, the Prada crystal bag definitely made it in the hit list. I think this was a surprise one because I, I didn't know I would love it that much. I think what surprised me the most is not that it's blingy and all that. It's really not about this. Of course, that made me buy it. It's a bag that is trendy and it's a bag that will surprise you in terms of practicality, um, wearability, and even durability. It's actually quite durable, so I think it checks all the boxes for that. But is it something that I normally would buy? Not necessarily, um, but it's beautiful. Look, it even matches my Chanel top, which, you know, is kind of in that bling bling vibe. So yeah, it's one of those things where it's just a, it's just a fun young bag that, um, Turns out to be super versatile. Up next is another bag that I absolutely did not need, but 
It's so cute. I just couldn't say no. Uh, also, I bought this one at the beginning of this year. That was when I was sort of having this FOMO. This bag was about to launch and anticipating it, knowing that it would be really hard to get, which it was. So this is the Speedy Nano, the newest version, which comes with a detachable strap. So this detachable strap is adjustable. It's slightly thicker. It's pre-patinaed and um, all the features on this little bag has been updated which i have talked about in my review video as well of course this little tag this luggage tag is my own so it doesn't come with the bag i know rationally that i didn't need this bag i didn't need another nano bag i know but i, I just feel like it's so darn cute and it's such a it's kind of like another collectible even though i don't own as many lv bags nowadays I still feel like this was one of those super collectible piece and I think it's pretty self-explanatory why because it's a little speedy. Very, very fairly recent bags and I will consider them to be luxury contemporary brands because it is Longchamp and yes, these are amazing. They are not only affordable, but they are so practical. I mean, get yourself some pretty colors and the right size. You will have your money's worth guaranteed because um, yeah, they, they are just so price friendly. So this one, funny story, this one, I pulled it out once when my mom was here visiting and she was like, her eyes was on it and she was staring at it. And I knew, I knew because my mom's not into luxury, but I knew that she loved it because she wouldn't stare at it for that long. So I offered to buy her one. <laughs> I'll probably buy her the exact same one and I'll just have it shipped to her. A pretty simple design, yes but it's durable, it's a nylon material, it's water repellent, it has this beautiful top handle, it's a good size, it's not so dinky, but it's not so big of a tote that you feel like, ugh, I don't feel dressy enough. Um, this is just the perfect size, this is the small size top handle, and it's just wonderful. This one, of course, I bought it because of the color and the size. I wanted a little one that was able the crossbody and of course that came in super handy especially because my little nephew he's so adorable he knows that i love chanel and he's only four but every time he would be like kuma i'm bringing you your purse and then he would like literally bring my purse to me and you know when they are chanel's and elmes they are a bit too delicate for a four-year-old so i'm not afraid to wear this bag around him at all because this one he can carry it he can bring it to me he can you know play with the zipper open it uh one, he always wants to look at the content of my bag so this one i'm not afraid at all for him to play with and uh, not only that it's just an amazing again same properties beautiful repellent nylon and on top of that these ones you guys can get 10 percent off remember my farfetch code it hasn't expired yet it's good until june 30th so still a few days if you haven't used it yet take advantage because these are so affordable and then you get another 10 percent off how great is that we're done with the handbags let's move on to some accessories on my neck I have this beautiful necklace. This is the Hermes Farandol necklace and it's just it's just the best everyday piece that doesn't get in the way. You can shower with it, you can sleep with it. I basically wear it 24/7 just like I do with my love bracelet. You guys know how much I love this love bracelet, which I'm not going to talk about because I've bought this for over a year now. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've already talked about best purchases, including this. But this little Farandal necklace is not only a very affordable piece from Hermes, it will be with you for life. And it's just such a stunning sort of underrated, but still very... It's a beautiful piece and it's easily layerable. In fact, I need to talk about this next one too, because I also wear this one 24-7. I layer it with my Farandal ever since I've got it. And this one is from Ideal, Ideal Diamond Jewelry. These diamond pendants, you just choose yourself. They have an array of different pendants. I still have a 10% code with them. So if you want to get something from Ideal, I definitely highly recommend their necklace. Um, their necklaces and their earrings are modular designs. So basically you can 
pick and choose from different uh, combinations and just custom your own. But I highly recommend this little roll of diamond. It's just the best piece to layer with any pendant that you already own. I've seen many people layer with their Van Cleef necklace and it's just stunning. And yeah, I have mine in the rose gold. I think it's stunning. I've seen a lot of people get it in the yellow gold. That's stunning as well. So I'll definitely make sure to link it down below. My code is still good. I believe is also until end of this month. Hermes ring, especially this one, was bought also within the last year. So this is the Kelly ring in the 18 karat gold with four little diamonds. Highly recommend. I think for me, after having been a customer of Hermes for the past little while, I think the things that really work for me are definitely in the fine jewelry department, in the handbag department, for sure. Obviously, I think anybody would agree on that. Also, I feel like um, their silks and accessories are amazing. I will get into the ready to wear and my opinion about the ready to wear very soon, but um, definitely fine jewelry has been a strong hit every single time. And of course, I choose them very carefully. I'm very methodical and thoughtful about what I add. I don't just add just because I want to add anything. I always think about whether it's something that I can wear all the time and get a lot of cosplay wear, which I do with this one. I get tons of cosplay wear and I get tons of cosplay wear for the Kelly ring. I also own this one. I own the um, CDC ring as well and I think this one is wonderful as well. Um, they both are amazing rings. If you just like one design more than another, go for it. I just have been favoring the Kelly. I think the Kelly is just so special because it's so delicate but still edgy. Whereas this one is more edgy for sure. I have one piece of fine jewelry from Chanel and it is this ring and this is the Coco Crush. Highly, absolutely highly recommend. I think this is one of their most um, popular but also most affordable piece. And I think that is amazing because Chanel is expensive in general. This is the beige gold. Uh, Coco Crush ring, which, you know, I just basically stack with the same hand that has all the rose gold jewelry and it goes so well and it's so comfortable and it's so beautiful. I just love, love, love. I love this whole combo here. Instantly after I tried it on, I just knew that it worked for the the whole vibe on this hand. And I, I think if you just, you know, want to step your toes into Chanel and you just don't know what to buy and sometimes it's impossible to get bags. Just get a piece of jewelry and that's how you get your toes in. That's how you get to work with an essay. Keep in touch with that essay going forward, especially if it's a nice essay. And if you vibe together, I think that is definitely the way to go to get your toes in and to get a relationship started. Um, I often get asked about how, how do you get an essay? Well, that's definitely one way. With fine jewelry especially, they are pieces for life. They don't tarnish. They don't rot. Um, I mean, unless you lose it. I mean, they do get wear and tear. You get scratches and all, but that's part of just using your things, which will count towards cost for wear, which should make you happy about, actually. You should be happy that you get wear and tear, right? In fact, if you don't wear your things, that's when I personally feel guilty, and that's when I personally would put them in the miss list instead. I own... Well, actually, I own four Chanel belts, but these are my three most recent ones. In fact, this one might be more than a year ago, but um, I will just, I'll just show you anyway. I'm not even a huge belt person, but somehow these belts always, always work for my outfits. And they not only elevate it, sometimes they do kind of pull my pants up a bit more, but most of the time I wear them as an accessory. Just kind of how I feel about the micro bag sometimes, but in a belt version. I think investing in a good Chanel belt is a must. Don't just buy all of them. There's a ton of seasonal ones that are just meh. Don't just buy any belt. Go with your gut, of course, but um, choose the one that's extra special that you feel like, oh, it will work with 90% of my outfits. And that is exactly how I feel about these ones. Um, maybe less so with this with this um, elastic one, but what I love about this elastic one is that, well, it's elastic, so it basically will always fit because it doesn't matter if you wear it lower waist, higher waist. Elastic ones are so comfortable. That's what I love about it, but don't get too many. Just get one, one or two that you like. But I definitely, definitely, highly, highly recommend getting 
a chain one and the current season has a beautiful one with a bow charm so the current season i have explained it in my chanel collection review if you haven't seen it definitely have a watch 22a 22a has a beautiful gorgeous one similar to this one but instead of the cc it's a bow and the bow also has this chain intertwine on it so stunning I would love that one too. These are just from two different seasons. They're both amazing. And I got this one first, but um, when I got it, it was already it was already way after the season has passed. So I was only able to get it in a larger size, which is why I can't really wear this one all this much. Only if I wear lower waist items. And so this one is my true waist size, which is amazing anyway you guys know my stance on belt now i think i've also mentioned that many times before but especially in an official hitless video belts from chanel absolutely recommend i don't know if i feel the same about almez but i don't know if i need to venture out into almez belts actually because I already love my Chanel belt so much, but I'm not gonna say no, because you never know with these things. Okay, up next, I wanted to feature all of the cashmere coats that I bought within the past year, and they all made it into the hit list, I think for obvious reasons, because I wear a lot of coats. It's pretty cold here in Canada most of the time, it's the summer now, so I don't have to wear them now. If you've only been buying your coats at your logo boutique, where they're kind of, they're nice, but maybe they're cutting and style and even material, especially for me, it's the material. Uh, it's not so great over time. I feel like just splurge a little bit more, which is what I did this year. I really made it a mission to be a bit more generous with myself, with my coat, because I do wear them a lot. Not only do they keep you warm, but if you buy a nicer fabric, such as cashmere, they would just flow better. They will just be a, a better cutting, a better material, and you'll just feel more confident in them. So anyway, I'm just going to show one because all my other ones are stowed away. The other ones are kind of more for winter. This one can still be for uh, spring and also um, summer when it's really cold. And so uh, this one is from Maxmara, S. Maxmara actually. And it's just so beautiful. This color is so gorgeous, isn't it? So this one is a beautiful one. This one is the Arona. Arona? Yes, this one is the Arona style. And this one has more of a crop sleeve and just a bit more kind of that oversized flowy vibe, which is amazing for just like a little chilly in, in the warmer weather season. But I highly recommend all the winter ones that I got. And I will just link them down below because I... Like I said, they are all stowed away, so highly recommend S. Max Mara. I have one from 12 Stories. I have one from Tagliatore, which is an Italian brand. That one is spectacular in terms of the material. It's 100% cashmere. This one, I think it's a wool, but it's a, such a soft wool, and it's a thinner wool too, so it's beautiful. Uh, it's a little brush too, like the texture is quite nice. Um, but that Tagliatore is just so beautiful, and it has such nice tailoring. So yeah, I'm still on the lookout for more because I feel like replacing my older ones because I just feel the quality and I feel like they drape better. And yeah, I got most of them on Farfetch. Again, use my code, you'll save 10%. Okay, I've been talking for so long. My hit list is very long, which is good, I suppose. Uh, but up next, we have two related items. So we have this beautiful scarf ring from Hermes, and I only have the one in rose gold plating, and it has the H symbol in the front. Very simple. If you don't know that it's an Hermes one, it, it just looks it just looks like a nice scarf ring. And this is amazing, definitely. But you'd only need one. Don't buy too many. Just buy one or two because you don't even need to use a scarf ring all the time. But I will say, uh, in addition to the scarf ring, of course, all the scarves, the 90 centimeter scarf that I bought from Hermes are definitely hits. They are so amazing. I gave one away to my mom. I gave her the one that is the lightest color, the lift profile. That's the one that I gave my mom. It's in cream and beige color with a bit of gray. 
and accents of red so this is the one that i gave her and i know a lot of you love this one some of you said that it reminded you of versace which yeah that one's so beautiful but my mom liked that one the most and so she took that from me and um i was totally okay with her taking it because I can always buy more so um but anyway so these are the ones that i have left i have this gorgeous one of my favorite ones with the shendonk i have this gorgeous theater one with all the circus animals and of course i still have this gorgeous um this gorgeous horse one the wicker horse one i feel like because they feel like piece of pieces of arts and they can elevate a very simple plain outfit um i think it's still worth it because the prices of these scarves are so reasonable to begin with compared to things like bags and shoes and hats those things cost more and so i feel like these scarves not only is it a beautiful silk material but it's so um beautifully thought out like the designs and everything so yeah one scarf ring is all you need one or two and these scarves amazing definitely hits for me i have a whole scarf tutorial video i will try to link it up here as long as i remember if not just just tell me if i forget um but you can always search it on youtube as well i show you all the different favorite ways of mine to wear the 90 centimeter scarf including ways to wear it as tops as regular scarves obviously and as an accessory another Hermes item that made it to the list is this my Hermes Apple watch and yes it is part an Apple product part Hermes the fact that it has an Hermes touch because you get the uh, Hermes faces and they are proprietary you cannot get it on the on a regular watch and the fact that you can um you know get their beautiful straps i have several of them so obviously this one came with the orange strap as well so this is the sport strap that they include and with elmez you will get the elmez stamping of course i also bought a regular pink one from apple this is just great as an everyday uh, very neutral color that is almost skin tone the apple watch has definitely become um an essential for me a daily essential because i don't use it to tell time but obviously it does that it does way more than that show me all my notifications text messages i can call someone take a call from the watch i can text message someone from the watch i can check the weather which i do daily on the watch it's right there one of the um one of the indicators that i customize is the weather uh, i have my calculator i have my um, I have my light fixture thing where I just customize my light fixture. It's just, it's just a little computer on your hands. And of course it needs your phone to function with it. Your phone in the vicinity of your house, unless you have wireless service on your watch, which I don't, but, um, it's a gadget it's it's an amazing gadget and the fact that it has an Hermes touch that little bit of luxury really adds to it for me it really really does and so yeah personal choice obviously you can get a regular apple watch and just if you want to just amp it up by yourself one of these beautiful brace um bracelets from Hermes totally you can do that my husband does that so um it's really up to you but yeah, I really like that it's stainless steel too. It really adds to it. And you don't have to buy one every year. Just buy one for every four or five years and you're you're going to get your cost per wear. Trust me. It's two Chanel items. I almost forgot. So two Chanel items. So these two items were gifted to me by my lovely friend Kat. And yeah, they come in these Chanel items come um, Chanel makeup and uh, Chanel brushes because I have a few Chanel brushes myself. They come in these beautiful velvet uh, pouches. And so I have to highly recommend these two items. I use it daily. So this first one is just their plain mirror. If you just don't know what to buy someone as a gift, but you know that they like their luxury, buy them one of those Chanel mirrors, these ones they are so amazing i use it daily to get ready to travel with to put in your purse 
but I also use it every night to take my supplements because I use a vitamin D dropper and I need to see how many drops I put under my uh, tongue. So I just look at the mirror while I do that and it's so handy. So um, I love the Chanel compact mirrors. Mine is super dirty. I have to clean it, but it's it's an amazing, amazing item. I have to recommend it for sure. And um, definitely these these two made it on the hit list. This next one, also from my lovely friend, um, it's a surprise because these are the four of the quadruple eyeshadows. So mine is in this limited edition color Mediterranean. Um, but I really assure you that it doesn't matter what color you get as long as it matches your skin tone. Uh, and she definitely chose the bright shade for me because I am clueless with eyeshadows. But as you can see, I have some today. I don't know, maybe the light is... Yeah, there. I think you can see it more. The corner of my eye is definitely a bit more of that darker shade. But as you can see, you can't really go wrong even if you're kind of a newbie and you don't know what you're doing. Um... It just blends in so well. It doesn't make you look like a clown. And I think that's what I love about this palette is that it's just so easy for a newbie to use. So I don't want to blind you, but look at these beautiful colors. I use all four, by the way. And I, of course, I do use the two sponge tips there, uh, the two applicators. Um, it makes the whole thing easy. So that one there is the shimmer, which I use at the last step. I put this at the inner corner of my eye, top of my eyes, outer corner of my eyes, and the shimmer at the end uh, on the center of my eye. And it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. As you can see, I am really using the product. I am really, really using. And then these little Chanel um, little applicators, they're so dirty now. I feel like one of them is about to break and I'm so heartbroken because I feel like these are so easy. Like I can literally use this on the road in the car. It's that easy to apply because you can't mess it up. This, these colors are so easily blendable. So if you have the same issue as me, you're kind of a noob, you don't know how to apply eyeshadow without looking like a clown, get this, splurge on one of these. It will change your life. I, I'm pretty sure it will because it really feels like I, I know how to put makeup, but I really don't. Which I have to mention again, I was going to just, you know, put it in a, in a video with my favorites. But anyway, it's a hit. These are luxury purchases because they're very expensive blow dryers. It is the Dyson Airwrap. So I have the version from, I guess, the initial release because apparently there's a new updated version where you get an attachment that blows your flyaways. I would love to just get that attachment. If you're still waiting, umming and eyeing, what are you waiting for? Just get your hands on one. <laughs> I cannot not have a Dyson Airwrap anymore because that's all I use. Ever since I've gotten it, I've, um, I've bought this for myself last year for my birthday, I have always just been styling my hair with the air wrap and every time it's gonna look a little different because what I do is I style my hair the night before. So I always take a shower in the evening and even though I might not always wash my hair but if I did wash my hair, I will always style it the night before. I will usually use the smaller barrel because it's a tighter curl and you don't even have to be super exact. Yesterday, I didn't even section my hair. I just went with like you know, I was kind of too lazy. I just went kind of like went through all my hair and I just go to sleep and I wake up with beautiful wavy hair and it's not so crazy, right? You see, it's because I use the tight curler and then I go to bed. So sometimes it looks a bit more loose depending on how I slept. And also because um, I don't wash my hair every day, I just let the curls fall over the few next days until my next wash. But I do also use this larger barrel sometimes when I need to style my hair and go out right away. This is the one that I use because you don't want to look like a clown with super tight curls <laughs> when you just get ready. So I will use this when I need to curl my hair and get out the door right away. So they both serve a purpose. 
And aside from that, I use also the blow drying. I find that my hair maintains more volume over the days of my second, third, fourth day hair. And also I feel like I don't need to wash it as often because it maintains more of a volume over time that it doesn't look too flat too early. And also curling with the air wrap is more gentle than using the curling iron. So so many benefits definitely a hit definitely recommend i will link some down below i know they're kind of hard to get sometimes i hope that you enjoyed this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like this video you can also join my channel membership where you get more exclusive content or if you want to just support me further by buying me a coffee i would really appreciate it all the links will be down below thanks again have a great day and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye